Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my wife's investment portfolio. It's been another two weeks and well a couple things have changed and after she gave me the $25 for when we last uh, did this ep episode. So what do you think so far, sweetheart? I mean, you're looking at the portfolio right now. You're up 1.5%. You're up $2.24. What do you think about that? That seems good to me. Yeah, you're up. Well, yeah. I actually bought another company for you. And I already did the whole thing to transfer $25. Uh, it, it'll transfer tomorrow, Monday. Okay. So by, by the time you guys see this, it'll already be Monday. But yeah, just so you know, you're going to get another $25 taken out from your bank account tomorrow. And, um, well, guys, I actually bought another company for her. And the company that I bought is one that you don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you don't know this one. But um, I bought it. And, unfortunately, I bought it way after the ex-dividend date. So, you're not going to get it for the month of May because they pay out in May. But you will get it for the month of, I believe, August, right? Okay. I believe August. So the company that I bought for you, it is the company T. Rowe Price. Now, you don't know this company, right? No. So this company is, um, they deal, it's a, it's a financial company, but they mainly deal with 401ks. Okay. Okay. They deal with 401ks. They, they manage 401ks for, for people. And... You know, I bought it at, you can see that I'm eight cents down on this one. So I did buy it at a little bit higher price when it came to the current price of $112. So I think I bought it at like $112 and what, 41 cents or something like that? Okay. 42 cents. So you're down on this one a little bit. However, you can see the Home Depot one is doing really, really good. Yeah. You're up a total of $1.41 on this one. That's good. So I bought Home Depot for I believe what 298 299 I would think and right now it's $300 so you know you're you're, you're up a dollar and 41 here unfortunately for the T-Row one you know you're, you're down slightly we'll see what happens this week because a lot of issues are happening with the financial sector right now and this company is in the financial sector so if this company falls I may buy more of it if it falls more so why did you pick that one? So the reason why I chose this one is because, well, for starters, I own it. Okay. I do own this company. I own a little bit more than what you have. Okay. Just a little bit. In fact, if you want me to show you, I own around 42 shares of this company for a total of $4,614. Yeah, that's just a little bit Just more. a little bit. Just a little bit. Just but, a little. Well, look, look. They have a massive, massive yield. Take a look at this dividend. 4.34% yield. They pay out $4.88 with a five-year CAGR of almost 15%. This means that in the past five years, they have grown this dividend 15%, all right? Now, as you can see, if we take a look at mine, mm -hmm. I am up on this company around $69.23. I bought this thing at a much lower price, all right? Okay. I bought this thing at a much lower price, but I decided to just buy it for you because I'm like, it's not that much anyways, and I don't know where this market may be going. So I decided to buy it at around like $112, which I, I do like the price regardless. Um, and on top of that, they still have a massive yield. So, you okay. know, if this thing falls, I do plan on buying more of it because of the fact that they have a massive dividend yield. And also, I really do like the company. Like the, their financials are amazing. They're just amazing. So and on top and of that, what's up? The Both of these ones... The you buy, can buy the fractional yes. shares? Yes. Yes. So you can see right here, your quantity, you have 0.1744 of Home Depot and 0.2307 shares of t okay. So yeah, Schwab doesn't let you do it for ETFs or any company outside of the S&P 500. But these two are in the S&P 500, so, so we're fine with that okay. one. Okay. Now, this is just the equities that we have. So the individual companies. Now, the ETF which is the one that, remember, I was making a big deal out of. Mm -hmm. The ETF is actually down mm. 89 cents. Um, unfortunately, this ETF has had quite a, a downturn this past week, like okay. a really, really bad downturn. In fact, if we take a look at this on the one day, so this is just on Friday. 
right? This is just on Friday. The lowest that it was on Friday was $71.61. Okay. So you can see that on the 52-week high, mm -hmm. it was almost $80. And then it went to a low of $65.96. Now, this graph that, that you're seeing is just on Friday alone. But if we go on the week, you can see that it's fallen almost 1% on the past five days. So the lowest point was around $70. So that's why you're down 89 cents when it comes to SCHD. Okay. But remember, but remember, none of this matters, okay? Because okay? at the end of the day... We haven't sold anything. And we're not going to sell anything, right? Yeah. Because the goal is not capital gains, which is what this is. This is capital gains. The goal it is this investment income, all right? Mm -hmm. So right now you're up five dollars and 22 cents so you're making a year an extra mm -hmm. five dollars and 22 cents right the average monthly it is 44 cents now you're looking at this and you're like okay well i mean this is in the next 12 months mm -hmm. okay if you go to just this year alone it goes down a little bit because well you don't have you right. know these months that before you started investing yeah that makes sense and on top of that i don't believe that this is also taking into account t row because t row pays in may august and november Okay. But the ex dividend date for T row already passed, so you, you didn't might add it in once August. Right. Right. When they announce it, when they do the declaration date, uh you will get the T row one. So this is going to be a little bit higher. But you can see that this is estimated. Actually, I don't think it is estimated mm -hmm. for the month of March or for the next 12 months either. However, what is, yeah, for some reason this is not doing it. That's very, very peculiar. However, what does actually take this T row investment, it is the Excel sheet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty much showing what you know we just showed over there mm -hmm. back in um in uh Charles Schwab. However, now we're taking into account the T row dividend. And you can see here that SCHD is paying you 66 cents in quarterly dividends. Okay. Home Depot is paying you 38 cents and T row price is gonna pay you 28 cents. Okay. So okay. so far the total monthly is 44 cents. Now, we'll see what happens uh, once I put in this $25 that I'm transferring over to Schwab right. this week. And if the market does fall, I do plan on putting in the $25 to an, an either one of these companies or maybe um, a new company, right? It really just depends. Okay. So in the next two weeks, you're going to see a much higher number instead of $0.44, cents, right? That's so good. let's try, I'm going to try to get this to around close to a dollar, Okay. Okay. We're going to try to get this to around a dollar, maybe at around like, let's just say 60 cents, maybe 75 cents. Okay. Well, that's not a dollar. I said around a dollar. You round up. You that is not a dollar. Listen, you're three quarter. You're one quarter away. If it's seventy five okay, cents, you're you one quarter bury away. Then you more for the seventy five then. That's, <laughs> well, that's closer to a dollar. Well, so here's the thing, right? Uh, I could bring this to a dollar and even more, but you have to do one of two things. What? So. One of two things need to happen. One, the market needs to fall. Okay. So that way your $25 can buy more. Or, you're not going to like the, the second one, but the second one is <laughs> the more easy. More money. The, easy, the, second one, the second option is the easiest because you can't control the market. You got to put in more money. No. That's just the way it is. I mean, it, it is what it is. So, um, you know, we have to discuss this. Yeah. We have to discuss this, but... Uh, that's just one of two things that you could do to essentially mm -hmm. bring this dividend income a lot faster, right? Either the market falls a right. lot, but the chances of that happening are, I mean, 50-50, well, 60-40, but the guarantee one would be if you put in a lot more money mm -hmm. than what you're putting in right now. So obviously that's up to you to make. Uh, if, you, if you get like a bonus or something at your work and you want to put that towards this, then by all means, we could do that. But, you know, that's just one of two things that you could do. No, nonetheless, though, we are at 44 cents. And, well, one of the first goals it is to pay for Paramount Plus or Discovery since they're both paying the exact same thing. We're still a little bit far away from that. But, you know, we're on our way in this dividend journey. Definitely. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for this update on my wife's dividend portfolio. Come back in the next two weeks to see what has changed and... If maybe the market has fallen, let's see how much if I bought like a new company, if I buy into the current companies that she holds in her portfolio and how much it has grown by. So with that said, guys, peace out. See you all in the next two weeks. Bye.